Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be discussing about the fiscal localization, which is in the accounting module of Odo 16, the country specific module that imparts the chart of accounts, the configured taxes, the legal statements, and the fiscal positions on a database refer to the fiscal localization package. Each country contains its own taxes. Okay, so the localization feature actually makes this tax automation much simpler. The fiscal localization feature in Odo 16 depends on several countries. Each country-based fiscal localization consists of its own peculiarities. Without wasting any time, let's move forward to the module and see how the fiscal localization works. So first, let's go to the accounting module. This is the accounting module. So I'll be talking about the fiscal year, the fiscal positions and also the fiscal localizations. So for that, first you have to go to the configuration settings. And under the settings, if you just scroll down, you can see the fiscal periods. Okay. So here's a field called the fiscal years. You have to check this. That is, you have to enable this first. Okay. So I ena I've enabled the fiscal years and save it. After saving it, you can find it under the configuration. Okay. So let's, okay, let it get refreshed. And if you go to the configuration, you can see the fiscal years here. So I'm opening the fiscal years and here we don't have anyone created. So I'm going to create a new one, click on new. So here I'm giving the name as fiscal year 2023. The start date I'm giving it as repeat. one okay and i'm specifying an end date here so let the end date be you give some random date and then let's choose okay so i'll give december 30 or something okay so that's done. Now here you have to provide the company name. So by default, the log logged in company will be taken. If you want to change, you can simply change it from here. After doing that, save it. This is how you set the fiscal years. Now if you go back, you can see the fiscal year which you create. Then we have the fiscal position. So fiscal position is basically for tax mapping. So if you go to configuration, under the configuration, you can see the fiscal position. So here you have two, which is the automatic tax tax mapping and also the automatic tax mapping that is tra uh, tax cloud and our tax. So I'm going to create a new fiscal position. Click on new here. Here I'm giving the name as US fiscal position. Okay. Now here you have the use tax cloud API or use our tax API, if you want to use that, you can just check these check boxes. Then this is to detect automatically, that is automatically apply this fiscal position. So I'm checking that. Then you have VAT required. So I'm checking that as well. Okay, so only apply if partner has a VAT number. Then you have to specify the foreign tax ID here. So I've specified a number there. Then you have the option to set the country groups. That is the country groups on which this is going to be applied. So I'm choosing South America, then I'm choosing Europe, like any one can be chosen. Okay, so I've chosen Europe. Now here you can select the countries. Okay, so I'm choosing British something. Okay, now here you have the zip range. So you can set the zip range. So I'm setting it one from one to thousand and here comes the tax mapping that is the tax on product you can add a line here so you can you know choose the tax which you are going to apply and tax to apply can be chosen from here okay so that's the tax mapping then you have the account mapping here so you can simply add product here and also account used to 
instead. That is account which is used instead. So this is how you set the fiscal position and if you simply save it and come back. This is saved. Let's go back to fiscal positions. Here you can see the one which you created right now. Then finally we have the fiscal localization. Okay. So for that, let's go to the apps. So here's the apps. Okay. Now, if we just search here for localizations, you can see localizations here. Okay. So here you have a section called the localization. Click on that. All localizations can be seen here. So one of the most or the one of the, uh, you know, important country specific modules installed for fiscal positions, which are like the legal statements and more is referred to as fiscal localization package. Now the appropriate package for your company will be installed automatically by Odoo uh, as per your country. Okay. Then we can enable tax and configure country statements or even certifications per the company's need using these packages. So by implementing a specific country package, we can run Odoo 16 accounting based on a particular country by implementing a specific country package. So it's possible to download your country package by choosing the apps module in Odoo 16. Okay, so these are the localizations. So according to the country, the localizations can be activated and used. So these are the main things which comes under the fiscal localization, which is the fiscal period, fiscal year, the fiscal positions, okay, and also the fiscal localization. That's all about the fiscal localization. I hope it's clear. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.